Look at my Nigerian prince and princesses. So today, I got this end of the year gift from. Okay. So I just like came into the masjid. Everybody was like, cool. "It's Monday, and I'm to you. thank you, Susan. Thank you. <coughs> Hello there. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sherry Fat, and I live in Nova Scotia, in Canada. On my YouTube channel, I just share my experiences about life here in Canada. So share information, tips, and how to you know just what what it, what it feels like to live here. In Canada in the diaspora I came from Nigeria with my family over five years ago and we've been living in the beautiful province of Nova Scotia and in this video today I'll be sharing my kids schools multicultural day so on the last day of school for the year they always have this day set aside for multicultural day where they wear their native way from their own country and also bring the dish like food from their own country. I always look forward to that. Even the kids also love it. Uh, for me, it's a way to also learn about uh, each other's culture, for us also know about your own culture and, you know, and learn and even taste your food. I think it's a good thing that you do for the kids. So Canada is a very multicultural country. People from almost all the countries of the world live in Canada. And for me, one of the perks of living in Canada is having to meet people from all over the world. I have met almost everybody from like almost every country of the world i've met at least one person from every country of the world no jokes here as our multicultural canada is so it's um, uh, uh, one of the things i love about living here honestly but it's, it's a privilege to be able to you know have that opportunity to meet people from all over the world you know see how they you know and they say that it, uh, it, it helps broaden your horizon it makes you see things you know how people see things uh other than your own see other people's culture their food their way of life because we all live in canada everybody has their own way of life somehow we have our culture and the good thing about canada is it helps you to continue your culture kind of you don't lose the culture as such even though you're living in the diaspora you're able to do your thing in your own way so far you don't you know impede other people's uh growth uh so far you don't uh, so far your own culture is not an hindrance or obstacle uh, so somebody else like it's not in anybody's way of life you're doing your thing your tribe your culture your religion just do your own thing and not infringing on anybody's rights uh i would say anyways i'll take you through how my kids dressed up for my, their multicultural day what i made for them and also take you through like a cook with me video i made some some food yesterday I just vlogged my cooking so just to show you so you see me do that so cook with me my kids want to cut it day and you know what i took for them to school just enjoy and see how it is here and I, I i like the fact that they do that for the kids because it helps them from childhood understand that people are different even though we are different we are all one but we have our different way of doing things our culture our clothing our attire our food you know everything is different though we are all one same one people like it's a huge even though we are from various races but it's one one race human race but we do have our own race we are white and black you know and all of that uh, kind of thing anyway so enjoy the video i hope you enjoyed it so tomorrow is my kids school's cultural day so for the end of the year the last day of school they always ask them to wear the native wear clothes that you know that's from their own country and then a dish like a food from their country as well usually i, I like to make jello fries for them but tomorrow i think we're making fried plantain you know and <clears throat> grilled chicken our canadians don't like most Canadians that i know don't know plantain like they don't make it they don't fry like the way we fry it so when i make it for them they always like it uh, I, I usually add it to, to the jello fries on some like some years but this particular one much as i can make jello fries for them so today is monday tomorrow I don't, I don't, i'm quite busy today i don't think i can make it make jello fries for them so i'm making making this fried plantain i got those and they're already ripe good so they'll be sweet and i'll make this chicken for both of them i usually they do like a school-wide potluck but because of this of covid they didn't have it like in their own class just each class would have theirs so i'll give one tray to my son and the other one to my daughter 
and that's the plan and they'll wear their you know nigeria african attire so today is monday and i'm doing some cooking sadly my applications on my work computer is not working so they are helping me to fix it so in the interim i'm doing <laughs> this cooking this is uh meat beef i diced it and i'm finding out to make use to make like beef dodo no i'm called kids dodo but i'm using beef instead and this is chicken i want to make pasta as well making pasta and also this chicken and these drumsticks more planting so let me take you along my cooking since i'm not working and i'm, so I'm i didn't cook during the weekend because i was very very busy with my green tea lips uh you know applications for my clients so i didn't like do any cooking at all so I, my plan was to do this cooking after work but fortunately unfortunately my applications are not working my like i need to log in with my computer my vpn is acting up so yeah open me to look into that so i'm making this food with that time so come with me as i cook I might be the only one that prefers to cook in like deep frying with oil than using air fryer. I have an air fryer, but honestly, I don't like the way the air fryer flies the plantain. I like it when it's like you know deep fried in oil. I might be the only one that likes this. So that's my chicken in them. I'm planting. And this is my chicken and beef broth that I'll be boiling the pasta with. I like to use my broth for rice, pasta stuff like that and even porridge no, I'm making porridge so this chicken I'm going to uh, marinate it with all this sauce I was like I don't have any part I just use anything I have in the house this is uh, grounded uh, ginger and garlic we always have that in this like bowl we always have it like a lot like that so it's easy to use when, when we have to cook I have this sauce and all sorts, I use all sorts. That sorts. Okay, so next is to marinate this chicken, this drum today. This is for my so the two packs are for my kids. Uh whichever I did school tomorrow, I'm at Fort Lock. So I'll use this one of two for them and one for us. Yeah, about ten, about one has ten on twelve in their class, so about twenty something, something students. I'll make this drumstick for and then the to so their own plantain. I'll not make it dice like this. I'll cut it bigger. And the kids want for their school. This is for my beef doodle. You know, instead of using gizzard, I mean I'm using beef and chicken for my when my pasta is going in. I'm going to boil this with the half cooked. Now make the sauce. I'll make it like you know jollof pasta. So that's my broth inside. I'll add a bit of water. And that's it. And half of my plantain is ready. I'll find the other half. Put all my sauce inside the chicken. I'm gonna place together with my hand. So I'm done putting all the spices I need to put inside the chicken drumstick so i'm gonna just cover it up and leave it for a while and now i'm going to dice my bell pepper i have to use the green and the red one so for my kids uh school potluck i made them plantain meal. i didn't dice them like i did earlier for her so this is bigger that's one set and one set is fine so for my gizdo do or my beef do do i'm using bow pepe uh scotch bonnet a taro do totashi and onions so i will dice this and i'll fry it then i'll pour the chicken and then the beef and then the plantain and that's it so i like to remove the the seed of the bell pepper 
and you've got my pepper looks like diced yep yep and that's my chicken that i was marinating i think we are good with this now i'm going to put them uh in the oven and fry it or grill it rather Salam, look who we have here. Alaikum salam, darling. How are you? Making some food. Is it for tomorrow? Yeah, for tomorrow and for the house as well. Or maybe plantain. Plantain, chicken, beef, pasta. How was school, my darling? Amazing, mommy. And tomorrow is multicultural multi multicultural day. Yeah, multicultural day. We can also bring some food up. Yeah. I'm making some of it now. No, my stem is not working. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Is that what you're, is that the story you're learning now? Yes. That's good. Good. Good job, darling. Now let me make it easy for you. Inshallah. Welcome. Good to see you guys. Are you brown? Brown. Brown, let's go. When is the last day of school? How do you feel? Okay, I'm done with it. I'm gonna put this in the oven now. I'm making a video too with my do like a cook with me video. Oh. <laughs> Actually, I was even one pan here before. Let me remove after I use this one. I'm just gonna remove this one and I'll put my chicken. Yeah, I'm gonna love you. And that goes in there. I'm gonna turn it the other way so the other side you can also get cooked or grilled properly. So I'm frying the papers. The whole paper, I'm gonna put bonnet, where we do onions, so I'll put a bit, a bit of spices in it. Just a little bit since I already put spice in the in the, in the meat and chicken. I just allow this to cook a bit. Now for my meat. And uh, this is me three and a half hours. In fact, almost four hours actually. After this is what I've come up with. That's a pasta in pepper sauce, it's chicken and diced. Uh, beef diced chicken and diced beef with the pasta and the pepper and then i have my beef doodle so there's beef there's chicken both diced and the plantain diced as well and that's a good chicken and the fried plantain and i also bought some broccoli as well so food is ready it took me almost four hours to do this my computer is still did not work my my um, my own of my softwares I used to work, it still did not work. It still is not working, so they are still working on it. So the world, the day has ended. I did not work today. So I used that time to make all this food. And uh, that's it. It's Monday. So I'll pick so for my kids, multicultural day, they're having the plantain and chicken. The pasta is a bit spicy. Likewise, the beef dodo. I don't want to give them that. The kids might not, might not you know, like it. Because it's a bit spicy. So they'll go with the plantain and the chicken. And I think that's it. And then for dinner today, we're going to have the pasta, the beef dodo, and some broccoli. And that's it. It's a lot though. It's a big bowl. A, they are big bowls, so this will last. I'll put the many in the fridge and we'll have it later. 
so that's it thanks for cooking with me today <laughs> i think i cannot see my face like it's my first time you know filming myself cooking it's a lot of work those that you know food bloggers really do a, a lot of that's, that's it's a, it's not easy at all filming and then cooking so that's i said four hours so the four hours i would say three and a half hours was for cooking maybe the many 30 minutes all this small small filming i'm doing so that's that's that multicultural day at school for my kids Are you excited guys yeah. <laughs> excited excited and they are dressed in their native attire so multicultural day they are to wear their like native attire bring the native food or potluck and it's the last day of school how do you feel are you excited you look happy. yeah <laughs> okay you look smashing guys it looks so so good like beautiful and sound look at my babies oh my god oh my god <laughs> all righty good close up see that smile look at that look at that, look at that. Look at that. okay Okay, how do you feel in your native attire? Good. Abla, what do you have on your head? Gele. Gele. <laughs> what do you have on your head? Agbada and Fila. Yeah. <laughs> and you are from? Nigeria. Yeah. <laughs> and holiday begins after today. It's two weeks, but yeah, we're going to rock it. We're going to enjoy our holiday, right, guys? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so it's multicultural day and the kids are going with this plantain, good chicken and some beef dodo. That's plantain and beef. And that's what they are going with to school for the multicultural day. Come guys, how you guys feel? Come. Good. Okay, so it's multicultural day at school. You was excited? Me. Yeah. And it's the last day of school as well. And this is our food. That's their native wear, their culture wear. But well, it's not native, even plantain. Some uh, Canadians don't, don't even know what plantain is, like fried plantain, like we have we have it in Nigeria. We always usually take jello fries before, but still, just make a switch, a change. Okay, sure. And um, to tell you that um, the apple and 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 French is palm. Okay, thanks for letting us know that. <laughs> okay, let's. I put this on the other side. It doesn't come. Okay. Okay. I put that. Yeah. What? Yeah. Pardon? Right yeah. Really? Coldest? Yeah. All right. Bye, guys. Have a nice day. Bye. City News 95. You're so beautiful. Look. My Nigerian princess. You are my Nigerian princess. So Fisa just woke up. Nabil and Nabila are off to school already. She just woke up. So I dressed her up to in a Nigerian attire, African print with her gilly. Do you like your, your clothes and gilly? Do you like it? Nabila wore the same thing to school. Hmm? It's still big for me. Pardon? It's too big. It's too big. <laughs> I should remove it. <laughs> what about the dress? Um, it can fit. It can fit? Yes, it can. Like it can fit like my size. Your size, yeah. Okay, we'll remove the gele. We are done with the picture. Then we we'll leave the dress, right? You're so beautiful. <laughs> Didn't you have a beautiful fuser? Yes. How do you know that? Because. Because what? Because. Because what? Gut. Tell me, because what? <laughs> <laughs> why are you beautiful? Because. Tell me why. <laughs> because what? Because what? Why are you beautiful, sweetheart? Honey? Because I breathe. Because you're beautiful. Why? Because How do you know that? I breathe. I know you're beautiful. How do you know you're beautiful? Yeah, because I print it. You what? Put it. Princess, you princess, you're a princess for sure. A beautiful, beautiful damsel princess. Is that what man? man? As I made some jello fries a few days ago, well, I didn't want to give them this because, like, it's not like freshly, freshly made. And then they said a couple of uh, their friends who are Nigerians to so are bringing jello fries to families that I know in this school. 
they just thought so let's do something different so that's why i didn't take them i didn't give them a tail of rice and it's very very yummy but i thought it's something different uh this time around so they took the plantain uh this one the fried plantain and the chicken to school i hope the kids like it well somebody got a gift <laughs> <laughs> I just got this package from Lagos Halifax Mom. <laughs> just got this. Just brought it to the house. Thank you so so much. I really do appreciate this. And it has some goodie goodies inside. Some goodie goodies. I'm gonna unbox it later. This is what it looks like. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate this. God bless you. My people are back. My people are back. How are you? Yeah. Well, salam, my love. How are you? How was your last day of school? Look at my Nigerian princesses and prince. Hey guys. Look at my Nigerian prince and princesses. Hey guys, next time it's going to be my birthday in December. Oh. <laughs> my birthday in December. Okay. You look dashing. December. Yeah. So how was school today? Yeah, tell me about it. Tell me about about the. Um, so yeah. Nabila, how was? How did people see your your gilly and your dress? Uh, like as soon as I just like came into the masjid, everybody was like, "Wow!" Wow! Like, everybody was just so, like so surprised and like, "Wow, you look so beautiful, Nabila." Oh, <laughs> not beautiful about you. Uh, when I came, when I came in, Nabila in my class started saying that. Oh, I knew your mom was going to tell you to wait. <laughs> How did she know? Because I said that I don't think my mom will let you tell me to wait since the party. She said, I knew your your, your, your mom was going to tell you to wait. Mm -hmm. Mommy, I can have a chance. I mean, some people are actually bearing like toys and some people can bring to me. But... Oh, really? Yes. So I wanted to bring my <laughs> She kids, said yes. But so I how was it? it? So how was the day? How was the cultural food? And how, how about the food? The flight, it was, was amazing. Perfect. Everybody liked my um my uh, the plantain, but they didn't like the pepper in the like plantain because they're too spicy. But everybody finished the plantain. Okay, what about you? For the spicy. For, um, Something. So uh, it was perfect. Like um, every, everybody finished the the chicken in in less in less than ten minutes, and it was the first food to be finished. Oh, cool. And, and my what? favorite thing was what Omar brought. It was mm. like um the type of chicken and um potatoes and potato squares. I don't know what he called it, but it was so what, what, young. Where's it from? Where's it from? Libya. Libya. Okay. Wait, can you take a look? Like, come just take a look. Yes. It's a queer. Don't get it. And there's also like, like um, there's also like um like a thing they use their brought. It was like like it was like shredded rice and it was so good and it's from Libya. From Libya too. Yes. Okay. Looks like they have if very you, very you, nice food in Libya. Huh? If you taste it, then you be like, <laughs> you love me. I asked for it so much times. Oh really? That's good. That's good. I, almost feel the whole thing. I think that's the essence of the multicultural I mean, day like, to my experience. Was so full. I could barely go up. So like most so most of the time I had to use the elevator. Oh okay. Okay, so that's the essence of the multicultural. I also got some um, birthday cake, um, um, birthday cake, um, like, um, um, flavored <laughs> cupcakes. Was that better today? Um, just birthday cake flavored cupcakes. Okay, cool. And everybody and also, my, one, my belly still feels like. And that's the essence. Okay. I said that that's the essence of multicultural days. So you experience other people's culture, the food, the dressing, and all that stuff. Fusa, how do you feel? Ah, the old culture, yeah. <laughs> You're with me, right? <laughs> okay, so they are back from school. I thought to do like a video to get together. All three of them. Juice. Pardon? Let's just got juice. She got juice for you guys. Yeah. Oh, that's so kind of her. All right. 
<laughs> I got this end of the year gift from Lagos Halifax home. And this card as well. I want to unbox the Ampra. Okay, so let's do this. Alifax mom, thank you. We love it, we love it, we love it. Thank you. So it's 21st of December, 10 days to the end of the year. I love this part of the year, time of the year because it's a it's a festive period, it's end of the year. People are merry. Uh, those who are Christians are you looking forward to Christmas. People you even people who are not Christians, like I'm like my, my family and I are not Christians, we are Muslims also a good time for us because we get to get invited for christmas parties outings and all of that which we tend to attend you know to reach us with our friends who are celebrating and december and december is one of my best months our uh, one is because i'm a december baby uh my birthday is sometimes in december and also it's the end of the year uh so it just it's for me it's like a very festive month it makes me be in a in a in a moment of rejoicing celebrating even reflecting you know also count down to the to the end of the year and then the new year so i really love december a lot so all that you know just makes december a very special month for me so i'm looking forward to all the good things we get tend to do uh in the next couple of days okay let me share some pictures from the past with you guys so that's the picture on the left is my husband and i on our engagement day 12 years ago that's my son when he was one he's going to be 11 uh in few weeks by god's grace my daughter is seven now when she was one so they also had cultural day in their crash in nigeria at the time so they also dressed up to school uh we, we used our wedding our engagement wedding actually okay to make those things for them i was really cute and i just i'm just happy that you know, we are able to continue that culture here in canada that's me as well at my former place of work in nigeria i used to work with a lot of indians in nigeria then so we had we used to have cultural day when nigerians indians will all come we wear different attires you know to work and just also have like a feast at work as well i'm just happy that i'm able to you know continue all of this in canada you know my culture and all that so i'm really grateful for that uh so all those pictures bring back <laughs> memories okay so i'm glad that it was the last day of school yesterday my kids had fun they were telling me about you know the experiences they had the food they ate you know what they ate from which country it was from and all that that's a very beautiful thing about culture that's why it's very important that even as immigrants as newcomers it's very vital that we you know we try to uh retain as much as possible our culture with our kids especially uh you know just in our own little way however we are able to do it culture is a very beautiful thing in my opinion anyways these are the pictures we took and uh, you know they were all feeling really cool in their attire i just love, love to take pictures because for me it's a way to archive my memory so when in the in a couple of years i see this i'm, I'm like oh we, you know we did that at that time it's so beautiful to keep this memory and i'm very grateful to god for the privilege to be able to nurture this uh, precious ones and um anyways that's our pictures for the multicultural so they call theirs multicultural day but back home in nigeria we call us cultural day and i have come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it if you thank you so much for watching please, please like it comment share it and subscribe to my channel i appreciate it thank you and bye